It says, under this dogma, anyone who points out a myriad of health problems is somehow fat shaming. You know, it's ridiculous. Let's face it. Most of America, myself included, could afford to lose a few pounds. We don't need people telling us that it's okay to be fat so that we can die of cancer and heart disease. We need people helping keep us in shape. And that goes for me, too. And friends, you know what that brings us to. That brings us to the dum dee dum dee dum dee of the day. Now... Not just the dumpty of the day, mind you, but also the dunce cap of the month. It took me a long time to figure out what was actually going to get the dumpty. But in fact, let me tell you what, friends, I do have it. And here it is. <laughs> so great. Innocent college students subject to restraining order for resembling alleged rapist. That's right, he didn't rape anybody at all. He just looked like the person that did. There's some dumdy music for everybody as I read it here. Here it is, daddy. All right, here we go. Innocent college students subject to restraining order for resembling alleged rapist. A dumdy for a son. Now, what am I talking about? An innocent male student was reportedly banned from entering large areas of his liberal arts school in Oregon after a female classmate accused him of slightly resembling a rapist that she encountered months prior in another state. Now, am I sending the dunce cap to her? No, she's whack. She shouldn't even be in school. Her head is messed up. She needs a break. She's not all there. She's wrong. She's an idiot, but she doesn't know she's an idiot. I wanted to give it to the university, but they don't say who the university is. So I am sending the dunce cap of the month award to the Oregon State uh, uh, Education Department. According to Professor Janie Halley, who detailed the incident in an article for the Harvard Law Review, the unnamed male student was forced to abide by the restraining order despite being found innocent during an extensive school investigation. In other words, maybe I look like somebody that raped somebody. No, I hope I don't, because rape to me whether it's a male on female, female male on male, male on male, or woman on woman, or a man on beast, woman on beast, it's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. But if, if I do happen to look like a rapist, well, maybe you should just shut down my channel. Maybe you should stop my ban from being allowed to play in any place that might Come in contact with this woman who might have to see me because I look like somebody that offended her. B.S. I recently assisted a young man who was subjected by administrators at his small liberal arts university, which they didn't name, which is why I'm sending it to the uh, Educational Department of Oregon, to a month-long investigation into all of his campus relationships, seeking information about his possible sexual misconduct in them, Haley wrote. So, they went through this man's past because he looked like her rapist. Now, it's pretty easy to search the database in a college. I know, I went there. I helped work in one once. Stark State College, for those of you that doubt me. It's very, very easy to get someone's name from school records. So they knew that this wasn't the guy that raped her. It says, calling the investigation an immense invasion of his privacy and his friend's privacy, and he's right, Haley stated that the ensuing punishment resulted in the near-complete dismantling of his education at the college. He was ordered to stay away from a fellow student, cutting him off from where he lived, his campus job, he was working for his education, and the educational opportunity to learn in proximity to this harlot, all because he reminded her 
of the man who had raped her months before and thousands of miles away. Did I call her a harlot because she was raped? No, I called her a harlot because I hope to offend her because she's offending me. Is she a harlot? Probably not. I just want to offend her. Choosing, which is my First Amendment right, choosing to prosecute him based solely on the feelings of another, college officials subjected the male student to near impossible guidelines. The stay away order remained in place and was so broadly drawn up that he was at constant risk of violating it and coming under discipline for that. For looking like a rapist. When he didn't even rape anybody, he was a normal guy that never ever thought about raping anybody. Like me. I, I tell you, I have a lot of weird, I, I'm the worst Christian ever. I look at porn, I do, I can give you all the sites to prove it. Never once dreamed of raping anybody. Nope, not once. When the duty to prevent a sexually hostile environment is interrupted this expansively, it is affirmatively indifferent to the restrained person's complete and total innocence of any misconduct whatsoever. He's 110% innocent. He didn't even talk to the girl, I don't think. The incident represents the disturbing and growing implementation of politically correct viewpoints which favor mere feelings over facts, logic, and the rights of others. As noted by PJ Dub, Paul Joseph Watson at InfoWars, countless young men across the country have seemingly given up on approaching women over the fear of violating some absurd written rule of political correctness. Friends, that won the dunce cap of the month. Really, I couldn't think of anything dumber than that. The man was barred from a proper education because he looked like a rapist. Guys, Christelle is bringing up the most awesome dunce cap of the month certificate you've ever seen. But I want to show all of you the hat she made. Now, this is being mailed for low deaf people down here. And uh, does not recognize the printer. Christelle doesn't know how to use a printer, so we're going to have to deal with the actual uh, printing of the award later. But uh, this is the dunce cap that she made. Now, uh, high deaf people, look up there. Um, all she had to do was download a driver, but what are you going to do? Um, there's a butter knife. This butter knife is now banned due to the overwhelming evidence of its use in robbing uh, women in an alley. Oh, must ban butter knives. They may have been used in, a, in, in, in an assault. Now, Christelle is right here. Girl to police officer, quote, My neighbor's dog reminds me every day of the dog, uh, of the man who owned the dog that looked like and who attacked me. So we should put it down. Yeah, it, it may, maybe the person's dog reminds you of the dog of the rapist. So we should kill all the dogs like that. Um, Dean, this is the dean of the college in Oregon. Mr. Smith, I need to see you in my office. Uh, Mr. Smith being a teacher later in the office. Mr. Smith, what's this about? The Dean, you're fired, Mr. Smith. What? Why? Dean, one of our female students needs your class to educate and remind you of her rapist. Friends, that is a great dunce cap. Um, I wish I could show you the actual award, but I need to uh, instruct my help how to download a driver. Friends, you're listening to the, what are you gonna do? You're listening to the correct views. Sam I. B. uh doing the commentary here, part of the Media Speaks. Go to the mediaspeaks.com, look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. Also, you can donate to the show if you want to at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. All of this show has been brought to you by Change Transportation. Look them up if you're within like a 50 or 100 mile radius of Canton, Ohio, because he will give you the absolute best rate that you have ever had on transportation, and he will price match others. Good night, friends. God bless.